Carmenere isn't a grape that carries a lot of prestige. And for some folks, Chilean wine might not be on a par with France or California or Italy, but our wine of the year might make you rethink that. Hi, I'm James Molesworth, senior editor in charge of covering Chile for Wine Spectator. Our wine of the year is the result of a decade-plus-long process of trial and error, continual improvement, and exacting attention to detail. It's also the result of an exceptional terroir and an intensely driven winery owner. When Alexandra Manier La Pastole toured the vineyards of Chile in the early 1990s, she was intrigued by the potential of Apalta, a small crescent-shaped sub-valley in the center of the Colchagua Valley. Marnier La Pastole immediately went about renovating the winery, the vineyards, and even planting new vines. Within a few years, her Cuvée Alexandre bottlings of Merlot, Cabernet, and Chardonnay were among Chile's most consistent value offerings. From there, Marnier La Pastole set her sights on producing a premium Cuvée, a single vineyard wine sourced from her best vines. In the 1997 vintage, she debuted the wine, and it was outstanding, but she wasn't satisfied. Starting with the 2000 vintage, Marnier La Pastole began to ferment smaller and smaller vineyard lots in open-top wooden fermenters. In the 2002 vintage, she began having a team of harvesters hand destem individual berries. In time for the 2005 harvest, Marnier La Pastole completed construction on a six-story gravity flow winery set into the hillside above her vineyards. The timing was fortuitous, as the 2005 vintage in Chile was marked by a long, dry, warm growing season resulting in big, rich reds. All those years of effort, combined with a great vintage, result in our wine of the year. I'm proud to present the 2005 Casa La Pastol Cloapalta Colchagua Valley. 2005 was also the first vintage for the wine to include some Petit Verdot in the blend. That's a late ripening grape that adds color, aroma, and structure to the already fleshy blend of Carmenere along with some Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. The team at Casa La Pastol includes consulting enologist Michel Roland, winemakers Jacques Bergeri and Andrea Leon, and Chilean geological specialist Pedro Parra. They're working hard not only in the winery, but in the vineyards as well. The Casa La Pastol Cloapalta has taken Chile's signature grape, Carmenere, to new heights. It's also among a handful of wines that have proven the country can produce world-class reds. For its combination of quality, production, price, and excitement, the Casa La Pastol Cloapalta 2005 is Wine Spectator's Wine of the Year for 2008.